All right, well, if you have driven south of Reno lately, you've probably noticed Washoe Lake is actually a lake again. And with summer on its way, the water is sure to bring many more visitors. Paul Nelson joins us now live at Washoe Lake State Park. Boy, Paul, what a difference a year makes. I remember we did a live shot where I think you were standing in the middle of that dry field not long ago. Yeah, absolutely, Kristen. Just last year, the water wasn't anywhere close to this boat ramp. And now, as you can see, the water's coming up to the top of the concrete. In fact, there's so much water that it's coming past the trees along the shoreline. And all that water means more recreation. And that's why emergency crews are getting ready for the large crowds. It's been a while since we've seen boats on Washoe Lake, but that's changing this year. I grew up out here, so the lake is great to have back again. It's a far cry from a few years ago when the lake dried up, leaving thousands of dead fish along its shore. And after four years of drought, Nevada's governor held an event on the dry lake's floor. It was right around here just two years ago where Governor Brian Sandoval signed an executive order to create the drought forum. And as you can see, things look a lot different now, covered in about eight or nine feet of water. I'm not too sure exactly what the deepest point is. We've heard 18 feet, but we're not positive. There's no readings about that for sure. Camping season has already started here, and the crowds are expected to get even bigger by Memorial Day. I imagine there's going to be several people looking for lakes to get their jet skis back on. They've waited and kept them for the few years that they haven't been able to ride them, and uh, they can bring them into Washoe Lake and ride them. So I think we're going to probably be busy over those next couple weeks. That's why this Truckee Meadows fire crew is getting up to speed on water rescues, knowing more people could mean more incidents. This boat is staged down south. And that's why we're getting it ready now for, since we do have water back in the lake, we need to be prepped for it. Floating debris and shallow spots can cause accidents, but the water temperature is one of the biggest concerns. The water is coming right off the mountainside, uh, so it's still pretty cold, so they'd be concerned about hypothermia and different things like that. The lake is just a few feet below I-580, and the snow melt will likely bring the water levels up even more. One more thing these guys are preparing for. We'll see changes even with that too, and then the Truckee River and everything else. So we have our swim teams, and everybody's going to be, uh, you know, high alert for those kind of problems. Now, along with jet skis and boats, Washoe Lake also has quite a bit of windsurfing. And with so much water and so much access, first responders say they're planning for the worst, but they're hoping for the best. Covering the story live, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.